Thank you for joining me. I'm Peter Tamarkin, and this is another edition of A Closer Look. She's called America's love expert, a modern-day Cupid with methods that can turn an average Joe into a Don Juan. She has shown thousands of women and men how they can have their mate hopelessly and passionately in love with them forever. My guest today is Ellen Kreidman, New York Times best-selling author and highly acclaimed relationship expert. Now, millions of people have seen dramatic improvements in their love relationships through Ellen's new revolutionary approach for love. She's appeared on just about all of the major talk shows, including Oprah, Donahue, Geraldo, Maury Povich, Sally Jesse Raphael, and many more. And she's been featured in most major newspapers and radio stations around the nation. She now has a highly effective program for both men and women on how to fire up their love lives. Ellen, thanks for joining us. Thank you so much for having me. Nice to have you with us. Now, Ellen, um, we've seen you everywhere. You're on all the talk shows. I have radio, I mean, e e magazines and publications everywhere. And you have become America's love relationship expert. What's going on? Why are so many marriages ending in divorce? Well, before we can understand that, I want to tell you about a really important principle. And I think every major talk show host asked me to repeat this over and over again. In fact, uh, I think Oprah was the one that said to me, I want you to repeat this a couple times backstage. Right. This is really powerful. A man falls in love because of the way he feels about himself when he's with you. And when he doesn't feel good anymore, he is going to find another woman that he feels good about himself with. That's really what an affair is about. It isn't that he's in love with the other woman. What he's really in love with is the way he feels about himself when he's with that other woman. And I know that you are happily married, but I want to just take you back to those bachelor days. Right. When you met your wife, tell me, didn't you feel sexy, brilliant, important, funny, special, needed? Oh, when sure. You met her? Oh, yes, absolutely. And I'm sure that when you felt that way, you said, hey, this is the woman I want to spend the rest of my life with. Exactly. And, you know, and, I, and it's interesting because I talk to a lot of people who are single, and I tell them, you know, before they go out on a date, some of them are worried about what do I wear, what do I look like, what am I going to say, what am I going to do. It isn't about you. It's about the other person and how they feel. And if that person feels great at the end of the evening, guess what? There's going to be a second and third date and probably want to spend the rest of your life with them. Right. Well, but aren't looks important? I mean, look at the, the, the diet industry, the health, fitness craze that's going on. I mean, it's got to have importance. It's important if it makes you feel good about yourself, but it's not going to keep anybody in, in your life and it's not going to attract anybody in your life. This course is not about getting prettier or thinner or making more money or becoming more intelligent. Some of the wealthiest people are lonely. Some of the most beautiful people are by themselves. This is about how does another human being feel about themselves when they're in your presence. In other words, it isn't about me, but how does my husband feel as a man when he's with me? And it's not about him, but how do I feel as a woman when I'm with him? That's interesting. Now, but when people are in love, that would seem to be enough. I, you know, that's a wonderful, wonderful question, <laughs> because uh, let me tell you something. If I asked any couple out there, why did you get married? They'd all look at me and say, what do you mean? We're in love. And I'm here to tell you that love is not enough. Do you know the statistics now are one out of every two marriages are ending in divorce, and everybody was in love in the beginning. Do you know that it takes five years? I used to say four, and somebody wrote to me and said, no, it's five. It's five years to become a plumber, and all it takes to get married today are two willing bodies and a marriage license. And I know if I asked anybody out there, we take courses for our professional life, and everybody gets raises, they get promotions, but they don't do anything for their personal life, and then they just don't understand why it falls apart. You've got to spend some time, some effort, some energy, if you want to make your relationship work right right now, now I know that uh, some beautiful woman somewhere is boring a man to tears that initial fatuation finally wears, wears off and it just boredom sets in yeah, there are, that's probably one of the most common things I hear people say I am so bored in this relationship or my life is so boring well let me tell you something the best way not to have a boring relationship is not to be a boring person now here goes I know I'm gonna insult somebody out there <laughs> but if you're bored you are boring and you know what? Because when you say, I'm bored, what you're really saying is somebody else entertain me. Somebody else out there make me happy. But if you say, I'm a bore, now you have to take responsibility. And the only way I know how to get out of that is to do something outrageous, to do something you've never done before, something totally out of character. Because guess what? You'll be nervous, you'll be scared, you'll be excited, but you won't be bored anymore. And in this course, in this program, nobody can ever, ever say again, what am I going to do for our anniversary? What are we going to do for our... Valentine's and all any, these... Any of the major holidays. They're going to have everything they they're completely in front of them. There will be so many ideas, they won't even know what to do with all the ideas. Well, when you talk about being uh, outrageous, I mean, there are conservative people who are shy. I mean, well, how do you deal with those I folks? don't listen. I just don't <laughs> listen to them. Do you want to know something? Have you ever seen a person on a stretcher and they're hooked up to a heart monitor machine and it's a flat line because they've died? 
that's what most of us are. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner work. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner work like zombies. Well, what this program does is it makes you alive. I have been accused of taking the most conservative, shy person, and by the time I get done with them, they're going to be outrageous. They're going to do things that they never even thought they could do, let alone when their mate looks at them and says, you did this? I do not believe that you were able to do this. And I'll tell you what, they're going to see ideas all the way from PG on up, okay? <laughs> and I am telling you, I know that people look at the ideas and listen to them and they think, well, I can do that. Oh, I've done that. that that's not a big deal. And then there's the one that they hear and they think, oh, I could never do that in a million years. Well, that's the one I want them to do because you know what? Even when you start to think about the thing that you can't do, your heart starts to beat oh, yeah. faster, the adrenaline starts to flow, and you're alive. And that's what this program is about. And I'm telling you, the reason I can get people to do this, I really talk about what life is all about, and it's about creating memories. And when it's all said and done, that's all we have are memories. You know, we get so wise when we're ready to die. <laughs> and nobody, but nobody on their deathbed has ever said, you know what, I should have spent more time at the office. I knew it, I should have put in overtime. You're not going to remember what you wore. You're not going to remember the dinners you made or how clean the house was. What you are going to say in the end is, Oh my gosh, here it is, it's over, and I should have had more fun, and most of all, I should have told and shown the people I love how much they mean to me. And with this program, nobody is going to have a life filled with regrets. So there's going to be no sh shoulda, wouldas when uh, we meet the Zero. maker, as it were. Not while I have one breath left in this body. <laughs> <laughs> I can see that. Now, now I, I've looked at your program, and there's one aspect in it that changes your life dramatically, and it does it like like that. It doesn't take months or years. Right. I mean, it's amazing. 24 hours. That first tape will change everybody's life. They will never relate to their mate or to humanity the way they relate right now. And I've got to tell you, it doesn't take years. It doesn't take months. It takes days. It takes minutes. You can do it. Because I don't rely on chance or luck, and I don't leave it up to anybody's imagination. I tell you exactly what to say, exactly what to do to have a more rewarding relationship or to attract people in your life. So it's, you're kind of the Julia Childs of all. You, you create a recipe Absolutely. for passion, love, and, and, and a strong relationship. And th there's a formula, in other words. Absolutely. And I'll tell you exactly what this course is about. For every woman that's listening out there, this is about becoming more of a woman so that he feels like more of a man. And when I say that, it has nothing to do with whether you are president of a corporation or you're home taking care of children. Because I'll tell you something, Peter, when the doors are closed, there's a man and a woman standing there. And either you know how to relate to each other or you don't. Do you know that throughout history, men have died for women, they've killed for women, they built buildings for women, the Taj Mahal was built for a woman, and they've even given up the throne for a woman. And I thought, what did these women have when I can't even get them to vacuum? You know, <laughs> I'm not asking him to kill for me or build a building. I'm saying, I don't feel too good today. Maybe you can help out. Today. Right? <laughs> exactly. And what you find is throughout history, these women knew how to make these men feel masculine. And I'm here to tell you that when a man feels masculine, there is nothing he won't do for a woman. And the woman who feels feminine, there is nothing she won't do for that man in her life so do you give people things to do when they when oh, uh, like a like homework assignments that's what I call them now this is not the homework kind that I, you had in school I was gonna say you know, the last no, time I was in high school you're gonna have fun and this is your chance for the A plus okay <laughs> you're gonna be laughing Guaranteed. and enjoying absolutely every single tape has a homework assignment things you say things you do and I'll tell you something um, the, the first thing that I want people to do who are listening to this program let's say you get the program okay and your mate says what are you doing what is this I want you to look at them and I want you to say, you know what, this is a program about becoming more of a woman and you know what the truth is, you are really quite a man and you deserve that. Or if you're a man, I want you to look at her and say, you know what, I'm going to take this program because it's about becoming more of a man and the truth is, you are quite a woman and you deserve that. Folks, to find out how you can fire up your love life or to simply find out how Ellen's program can help you, uh, call the toll-free number on your screen right now. Her program is not available in stores, it's only through this exclusive TV offer. And we have some good news, and that is we've worked out a special arrangement uh, thanks to uh, Ellen for her substantial discount uh, for our viewers today on her program. Normally, we talk to one another in, a, in, a, in, in such a way as we say, I need you to do this. You're not doing this for me. You're not doing this. You've turned it and had that person say, what can I do for you? Right. Which immediately does away with the kind of... Uh, 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 argumentative approach to these Absolutely. kinds of relationships. Absolutely. It's getting it off you and onto the other person. And when you do that, you won't believe what you're going to get back in return. Well, th there are marriages that are on the rocks, that are bad, that, that people, I mean, they're fighting, it's on the verge of divorce. Uh, it's it just history in their minds. How, how does it work for them? Okay, well, I am here to tell you that I can take any marriage. I don't care. If they are on the verge of divorce, I'm asking everybody out there, please don't file. 
do not file. If you know somebody that's about to file, tell them not to until they get this program. I had a woman, this is a true story, a woman called me up and she said, listen, my marriage is over, we've already filed for divorce, but my daughter is a newlywed and she's already having problems, so I'm going to get this program for her because I don't want her to go through the heartache that I've gone through. And I said, fine, I'll send you the program, but I want you to listen to it first. And she said, no, you, oh, you don't understand. It's not for me. Yeah. We're already filed for divorce. We don't communicate. We're in our 50s. We live separate lives. I said, no, you don't understand. I am not sending you this program unless you listen to it first. Now, wasn't she lucky to get me on the telephone? <laughs> no. So she listened to it. And you want to know something? A couple months later, I had a postcard from her that she went to Tahiti on a second honeymoon. I never listen to anybody who tells me they're on the verge of divorce because I know beyond a shadow of a doubt, if they were in love once before, I can get back all the feelings they had, including the butterflies in their stomach. Wow. Now, now what if only one person wants to work on that relationship? However? It, it doesn't matter. You know what? I'm going to tell you, a woman wrote to me and she said, you know what, this course is magic. And that's what they're going to get, magic. She said that six years ago, she took this program and all of a sudden, he started to help with the housework, he started to plan their vacation, he started to get little gifts, he bought her roses, and she was the one taking this program. And you think, well, and she couldn't believe the changes in him. I know that it occurs. You know why? Because in any love relationship, there's a chain reaction. When one person does something loving, the other person reacts to that loving thing they see. And so you don't have to worry about it's just you. And I have got to tell you something, Peter. Most of the time, it truly is a woman who is much more intuitive than a man and they know far beyond before the man ever knows that this relationship is not going that well mm. and but a lot of women will write to me or call and say you know what Ellen my boyfriend my husband he would never listen to a self-improvement program especially one on relationships oh yes he will let me give you two solid ways that you can do it number one either you put it on the car seat when he's going to work with a nice little bow and a note that says to the man who I want to light my fire forever because if you present it as fun and entertaining and enjoyable persons receptive rather than here you need this yeah. second best way next time he says what do you want for your anniversary what do you want for your birthday what do you want for Mother's Day you say I want the gift of your time I want you to just take a couple of hours and listen to this program now most men I, you can't right? say no they're all gonna say that's it that's all you want yeah, right. you've got it <laughs> and I'm telling you this woman is gonna have a new man that she's living with Amazing. won't be the same well, well what about for the single folks I mean does it apply for single people and, oh. and, and Absolutely. You know, I, I've got to tell you, I, did, I was doing a seminar in Cleveland, and this woman came up to me and she said, I want you to know that prior to your program, I didn't have any relationship at all. And by the time I listened to the end of tape number one, this man I was interested called me up for a date. By the end of tape number four, I had a dozen roses, and by the tape number eight, she was engaged to be married. I had another woman that came up to me and she said, you know, I'll never forget when I ordered your program, I thought, this woman can't teach me anything that I don't know. Because you know how sometimes you take a chance and you think, eh, I'll order it, sounds good. Right. And she showed everybody this huge diamond ring and she goes, obviously you have taught me something that I didn't know. <laughs> and you know what? She was with a man for five years who wouldn't commit. And I'm here to tell you, there are a lot of women with men who, who are saying they won't commit. Oh. They're not afraid of marriage. You know what they're afraid of? I don't know what to do. That's what they're afraid of. They so, don't have any knowledge. So it's an ignorance. Yeah, okay. you know, it's scary when you don't have the, the, the unknown is scary. So what they're not saying is, I'm afraid of marriage. I don't know what to do. I see everybody around who was happy and married and now they're divorced and miserable. Who wants to be miserable? I'm afraid of that too. Sure. So when you have this recipe, you know exactly what you need to do. People not only are attracted to you like a magnet, but you have power and energy and you feel so confident because you know exactly what to do. I've got to tell you this other fellow, James, I'll never forget. He wrote me a letter and he said, not one woman was ever interested in him until he bought this program. He listened to the, the whole program and he said he went to the office the next day and every woman was interested. Wherever he went, people were absolutely, like I said, attracted like a magnet. He says he never goes anywhere without these tapes. He listens to them over and over in the car and he said, I promise, I swear to you, I take them everywhere I go and I feel like I'm armed and dangerous. <laughs> you know? Clearly it's working for him. Yeah. Now, now, let's talk about, there's a lot of programs out there. Right? Videotapes, books, everything. I mean, they're all over the place and some of them are, I thought, you know, pretty, pretty good. What sets yours apart from everyone else's? Well, I'll start out with I'm married for 30 years. That's very different. Well, that is very different. I must say, <laughs> yes. some of these guys are out there, these folks, these experts are writing love books on how to keep relationships going. Yeah. They've been divorced three or four times. Well, and it's the same man, and I've raised three wonderful kids, but let me tell you my personal opinion about things. You know, if I wanted to learn how to raise children successfully, I'd go to somebody who has raised happy, loving, successful children. I wouldn't go to somebody who has, has no children or has delinquents as children. 
if I wanted to learn how to make a great deal of money, I'd go to somebody who was wealthy. I would never go to somebody who was poor and ask their opinion. Makes sense. Well, to me, it's the same with your relationship. You know, if I'm going to ask somebody about my relationship, don't you want to know that their life is working? And it's true, Peter, there's a lot of experts out there who can't make their own lives work, and then they're giving advice to other people. Tell you something. I have been through tragedy. I've been through loss. I've been through disappointment. I have a bankruptcy, life-threatening illness. And you know what? I know what it's like to live with somebody and feel that empty, lonely, desolate feeling. I also know what it's like to lie next to somebody who's a stranger in your bed, even though he's your husband. But you know what? I didn't give up and I didn't quit. And I don't want anybody out there to do it because I know how to turn it around and I can give every single person out there the tools to do the exact same thing. You don't have to give up that dream of living the rest of your life with the person you love. Clearly from, from your own personal experience of having what, gone through what you did, plus having related with tens of thousands of couples, you know what's going on. You really talk about what really works. And I'll tell you something why this works. And this is really why this makes it different than anything else out there. I don't leave anything up to chance. You know how there's so many experts out there and so many courses where they'll say, be more loving, be more caring, be more understanding. What does that mean? Those are just words, especially, you know, if you came from a home where you didn't see your mother and father laughing and enjoying themselves, you don't know what that means. You know, a woman that looks at her husband or her, her boyfriend says, I want you to be more romantic. He doesn't have any idea what that means, you know? After this program, he does, because again, I tell you exactly what to do, exactly what to say. There are, there's no more mystery anymore. You know everything. And the truth is, I do talk about what works. I've I looked at couples who have been married 25 years or more, and the media inundates us with things that don't work. Experts are telling us why relationships don't work. Well, fine. Well, how, does, how do you make it work? True story. Psychiatrist was in my class, and I said, what would I teach you? What can I possibly tell you that you don't already know? And he said, you want to know the truth? My entire schooling is about the dysfunctional person, about the person that you know, is, is, uh, doesn't, doesn't function properly. And I'm on my fourth divorce, and I don't even know what's normal. And I truly believe that, Peter. A lot of people out there don't even know what's normal anymore. They've come from such dysfunctional homes that this is going to show you how to laugh, how to fun, how to put passion, how to put excitement back in your life, and what a healthy, normal relationship is about. So it's telling about what really works. Yes, and I, and I tell you something, I look at people and I say, isn't it exhausting to be in a bad relationship? Oh. I mean, it is so, it drains the life out of you. You know, to be in a relationship that's fun and makes you laugh, you have so much energy, you have so much excitement, you feel up, but the other is so draining. Why would you choose to do that if I've got a way to get you out of that? Let me make sure everyone knows about the way, because okay. it's important. I want to tell everyone out there that you can fire up your love life, or to simply find out how Ellen's program can help you, you call this toll-free number on your screen. Please do it. Its uh, program is not available in stores. It's only through this exclusive TV offer. And as I mentioned before, we've worked out a special arrangement uh, for a substantial discount on Ellen's program for our viewers today. So call in. Um, uh, you talk about a lot about communication yes. uh, and the fact that we don't communicate as a society. Right. right. And let me tell you why. Here's the bottom line of it all. We all want to matter. And understand this, I really want to matter to you in a good way. But rather than not matter at all, then I'll matter to you in a bad way. And that's why you have discipline problems with the children. That's why you have marital problems. What that person is saying, I don't feel like I matter, that I'm special. And I'll give you an example. Let's say the husband comes home and he sees his wife on the telephone. Immediately he thinks to himself, I don't believe this. I haven't seen her for eight hours, and she'd rather talk to her friends than be with me. Oh, sure. I've, I've gone through it. I'd right. come home and say, can you just turn the TV down <laughs> right, when right. I come in the door? Right. Make believe that you, you can recognize me. Or let's say he comes home and he starts opening the mail and she thinks, I don't believe this. He'd rather look at the bills than talk to me. And you know what? 20 minutes later, this couple has an unrelated argument. It has nothing to do with what they're arguing about. You know what they're arguing about? I don't feel special. And what you're saying is, oh yeah? You're going to ignore me? You're going to make believe that I don't mm. exist? Well, then even an argument is better than the nothingness that I feel around here. And let me tell you something. I'm going to give everybody a homework assignment. It's going to knock the socks off of them. They are not going to be able to wait to get into each other's arms. Whole new way of coming home. Well, you, 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 you talk about a, a very vulnerable area, and that's sex. Right. You talk about innovative places to make love. Um, enhancing the relationship between men and women. You certainly have my attention. Okay. <laughs> well, let me tell you something. I'll start out with, there's a very big difference. Men need sexual fulfillment in order to respond to a woman emotionally, and a woman needs the emotional fulfillment in order to respond to a man sexually. And so what we have is a stalemate. You know, she's looking at him saying, you don't make me happy, so why should I make you happy? And he's looking at her saying, you don't give me what I want, why should I give you what you want? I don't care who puts their little finger on this telephone and dials for this program. It doesn't matter. But somebody's got to start. We've got to start somewhere so the other person's going to react in a loving way. But we've got to learn what turns each other on because I know that if I can get a
the couple that's laughing, enjoying themselves, feeling close and communicating outside the bedroom, the bedroom's going to work. And if it isn't working outside, there is no way that that bedroom is going to work. Mm, uh, yeah, that's, uh, clearly, it, it, it affects all, all of your life. The, the, uh, uh, the real issue, what I fear, is that there are some relationships that, that are just too far gone. I mean, they're, they're fighting all the time. Uh, they don't want to be around each other. It's hopeless. I mean, does, I can they be helped? Uh, uh, 24, you give me 24 hours of anybody that's about to file for divorce that has called it quits, and I am telling you that I can turn it around. I've had the most dramatic result. I'm not going to leave it up to chance. I'm not going to leave it up to luck. I'm going to tell you exactly what to say. I'm going to get you out of the mess that you're in. Nobody, but I, I honestly believe that if I stand behind this program, let me tell you something. If this program doesn't work, nothing else out there will. Nothing. I have psychologists, I have psychiatrists, I have marriage counselors who buy this program because it'll take any relationship from having problems to understanding what passion is about, what excitement is about, what communication is about. And let me tell you something, there doesn't need to be the pain and the loneliness and the desolation that people are feeling because, you know, you think you're going to spend the rest of your sure. life with this person and why shouldn't you? It's exhausting, as you yeah. mentioned before. But you know, if I asked you, Peter, you're so successful, did you get there by luck or chance? What would you say to me? <laughs> no, right. hard work. So why do we think, I, w I want to be lucky and meet the right guy. I hope my marriage can work. I hope this relationship will work. You have to make hope it work. and luck has nothing to do with it. I didn't marry the right guy. I've worked on my relationship and I can give everybody the tools to work on theirs. And it's fun. It's not the kind of work where you're going out from nine to five and doing that kind of work. It's enjoying because when you give, you get so much back in return. Well, are you talking about people also that have self low self-esteem, that don't like themselves? Yes, yes. I remember I got a letter from this woman and she said, I don't know if you can see all the wet tears on this paper that I'm sending you, the stationery, but these are tears of happiness. Before your program, I couldn't stand myself. Why would anybody want to go out with me? And after your program, I loved myself so much that I immediately started to begin dating, and she wanted to let me know that she was engaged to be married. I get, you know, and I want those letters to keep coming, because sure. I hear every single day from somebody who said, I didn't feel good about myself, and now I do. Because again, I show you specifically, how do you do that? Don't just say, but love yourself. How do I love myself, yeah. you know? Thank and you people have also gotten the biggest raises, the biggest promotion. I was doing a seminar in Michigan, and this man comes up to me, and he says, I want you to know I've got the biggest promotion of your life six years ago when I bought the program. Somebody else said the same thing, and there's, everybody else is saying, wait a minute, isn't this a course on relationships? Right. Again, the truth is that, you know, the happier you are with your personal life, the more productive you are at work. The less time you have worrying about things that, go, that are going on at home, the more energy you have to give to your job. So people who are happily married, who are in a great relationship, get the promotions, get the raises. Oh, it's absolutely, in, in my area, when, if I have a fight with my wife and I go to work and I have to be on the air, I have to really work harder right. to have that, you know, to be, to be uh, happy. You can't to, separate it, the two. No, it becomes and, so and, and difficult. And even if you do, if it's really working and it's filled with passion and fun and you left and you're laughing and enjoying and communicating, let me tell you, you've got a lot of energy when you go out there. A whole different person. That's right. Absolutely right. Now, what about, let's go back to the single people out okay. there. there we, we see all kinds of areas benefit, you know, attracting single people, the clubs, the dating services. Obviously, it's difficult for these people to get together. How does it right. relate to I these I want to folks? tell you something. A lot of people who get my program maybe have, they look at it and they'll, they'll write to me, they'll call me, they'll say, you know what, Ellen, if I had had this five years ago, I never would have gotten divorced. If I had this three, year ago, three years ago, I never would have let my boyfriend out of my life or my girlfriend. And I want to tell you something. New information gives you a brand new outlook on life and it gives the room for somebody new to come into your life. And if you don't have new information, then history repeats itself over and over again. And you go through the same things, the same bad relationships. This is new knowledge. And with new knowledge and new information, there's new behavior. And so that's why everybody starts out with a brand new life. Mm -hmm. What about the people out there who have had affairs i mean you know repeatedly i mean is yeah. it too far gone no you know and again remember when i talked about what an affair is what that person is saying look i don't feel good with my partner anymore and this other person makes me feel great well why wouldn't you want to be with somebody who makes you feel great and if you want to fight fire with fire which is what i show you how to do then you've got to bring that person making them feel like a king or a queen again and they will respond so you deal with the symptom rather uh, deal with it with the actual problem rather than the yes, symptom and you it. understand what the affair is all about yep. now, now what about the good relationships. I mean, there's a lot of people out there sitting on the couch hugging one another saying, honey, aren't we lucky? We don't, we don't need this right. thing at all. We don't need this. So this is not for us. Do you know how many people have gotten this as a wedding gift or an anniversary gift that are madly in love? If I had my way, this is the couple that would get it first because then I could take what they have now on an unconscious level and show them how to keep all those wonderful feelings alive for the rest of their life and there would be no divorce. If everybody got this program when they got married, that would be it. They'd be happy for the rest of their life. Well, lawyers would hate you. Oh, absolutely. <laughs>
Now, do you improve things like their sex lives? What do you think? I, you know, <laughs> the, the man is going to be fulfilled, the woman is going to be fulfilled, the kids are going to be happy, their job is going to get better, you know? Let's talk about kids for a second. They have, play a significant part in all relationships. Sometimes the kids are the problem. <laughs> and uh, how, does, how do you deal with kids in a relationship? How do you address that? Well, let me tell you something. What I tell parents is the best gift you ever give your children is a loving relationship with each other. The happiest, most well-adjusted kids come from a home where mommy and daddy love each other. And the other important thing for parents to understand, I don't care how good of a mommy or daddy you are, there is the only thing you can give your children are roots and then wings. They're going to be gone someday. And if you've made that parent-child relationship number one and you've pushed your adult relationship on the side and said, oh, it can wait, let me tell you something. They'll join the statistics where one out of every two get divorced. You have got to make the parent relationship, the spouse relationship, the mate relationship number one, and then the children will be happy. You're basically setting it up such that you are the, the model for your children in terms of how what a relationship is all about. Absolutely. That's, I mean, that's the best where... gift you give them. And everything I talk about is ultimately for your children because they'll be secure and happy. Ellen, I, I've, I've, I'm fascinated. I, I, mean, I think this has just been wonderful. I, do you have any final thoughts you want to share with us? Oh, do I have final <laughs> thoughts? <laughs> Let me tell you something. I want everyone out there, if there's anybody that's about to file for divorce, please get this program before. I know that I can save any marriage out there, and I'm going to leave everybody with this, these words. They're powerful. If you don't have a love affair with your mate, somebody else out there will. That's pretty powerful. <laughs> let, me, let me address the, our, our viewers for a second here. I want, uh, I want you all to know that you can find out how you can fire up your love life uh, a, a, or simply find out how Ellen's program can help you. Please call the toll-free number on your screen. And remember, her program is not available in stores, only through this exclusive TV offer. And as you know, we've worked out a special arrangement for a substantial discount on Ellen's program for our viewers today. And I, I want to add that if you folks out there can muster up a third of the passion <laughs> that Ellen has, uh, you will be doing very well. Your relationship will improve markedly. Uh, Ellen, I, it's been most edifying. I really enjoyed spending some, some time with you, and thank you for sharing thank you, it with us. Me too. Thank and, you. And uh, uh, I, I want to give you another opportunity. If you have anything else you want to tell our folks before we uh, say goodbye. Well, there are three. You know, there are three kinds of people that are looking at this program. Number one, there's the happily married couple, and I'm telling you, I'm going to keep what they have now forever. Then there's the one that's on the verge of divorce, and I'm saying, don't file. I'm going to get you out of the mess that you're in. I'm going to turn back and bring back all the feelings that you had when you first fell in love, including the butterflies, and those that are not in a relationship, look out. People are going to be attracted to you like a magnet with this program. <laughs> so you deal, you, there's, not, there's no one you can Nobody. Help. Absolutely nobody. Well, that's great. Thank you once You're again, welcome. Ellen. Uh, I'm Peter Tamark, and on behalf of all of us here at A Closer Look, thanks for joining us. A Closer Look is your connection to today's most exciting people, ideas, and the opportunities they bring.